Well, it's that time of the week again. The time of the week where our king and queen have to make some cuts to the Clash of Clans workforce. And sadly for the giant, he just wasn't cutting it. The king and queen had a week-long discussion about the giant's performance as a builder, and they decided that he wasn't cut out to be a builder. For a few reasons, actually. For one, that he was meant to destroy things, not build them. Plus, because of his size, when he was traveling around the base, he came really close to squashing a few villagers. And also, for some reason, he kept insisting on upgrading the walls. For whatever reason, he really enjoyed hitting walls. Not to mention, one of the reasons he even got hired in the first place was because he offered to help defend the village when it was attacked. But he was practically useless on defense. A few archers had no problem taking him out. So it's really no surprise that the giant is being fired. He's way more useful destroying things, not building them. So now it's time for the heroes to make another big decision on who to hire next. They needed someone that was smaller than the giant so that they don't squash anyone, and smarter than the giant so they don't keep doing walls, and someone who can add more value on defense. You know who would be perfect for this? That's right. You're the wizard. The wizard. But sadly he was too busy this week working on some new boom in a box spell. Maybe next week he can take over. But until then, I guess the witch will have to take over. At least she offered a pretty cool spell that shrinks troops when being attacked. And she might even have her larries to help her build stuff quicker. But they might not be allowed since they are just kids and underage workers are against the Clash of Clans law. Who knows, the giant may even find a job somewhere else. With his brand new resume, he could probably find a job anywhere.